we started asking this question, you just gotta get me off script. We had a right, this is this is deja vu all over again. We had this situation come up in the 80s. We had a referendum that was passed by the people of Pinellas County. The legislature in their infant wisdom passed a special act. They capped the military at 1.5. And we created this EMS system that I think is, has served the people of Pinellas County more. And yes, costs have, have gone up somewhat, but what is why we are having this discussion today is property values of, of bottom line. And instead of going to the roll up rate, which probably they should have done to maintain the level of service. Now we're looking at balancing the budget strictly on the backs of the people of St. Petersburg, proposing an over $7 billion reduction in funding to the city of St. Petersburg. If you go back to the 80s, St. Petersburg has always been the highest, and we've always been engaged in being the fourth largest city in the state of Florida. And we've been very competitive when you compare our salaries to large cities, but now we're being compared to single engine stations and departments and things like that. And that's wrong. You guys, some of you, well, probably Senator Lattweiler back from the 80s, um, created this, I have to say that, created, created this legislation, and guess what? The county in the late 80s tried to redo the funding formula. It was not equitable to the city of St. Petersburg. The county sued the city, and now we have a court order which defines what you guys intended in the special act. And we've been living harmoniously ever since then. This is what we're talking about now. We're talking about changing the level of service. Whether single response, dual response, we're changing the level of service. And we can have all of the ha-ha moments because somebody calls because they have hemorrhoids and, and, and or, or Mr. LaSalle's uh, his, his story about the little boy that, that turns an ankle. What about the lady who calls 911 because of a fall? And we have to tell, or somebody tells the lady now, well, it'll be 15 minutes, but you've been on the ground all night, so you can wait 15 more minutes. That's the reality of priority dispatch as it stands today. Yes, I don't have a big piece of heartburn, which is an alpha call, on alpha calls or certain fall designations, but there's no savings on alpha priority dispatches. you got to move into the Bravos and the Charlies, which could be single response, yes, we agree. But now you're moving, in, even alphas 50% of the time require transport. But now you're moving into compound fracture, uh, uh, protruding wounds, and, and things like that. It's a matter of changing the level of service and to who provides it. And if you pass the bill which, which changes the special act according to the county, which is absolutely a change in the level of service, you put St. Petersburg Rescue out of business.